Simon, what's the car you have here? It's a 1948 uh, Wolseley 1885 Series 3. Yet 1948, but it was acquired by the family in 1952 and passed down the, uh, the, the female line. Um, and I'm currently the custodian of this car and it's destined to go to my grandson, hopefully, in a couple of years' time. <laughs> Your son may miss out on the... Yeah, no, he's, he's done his dash. He built his, he built a two-car garage. I told him to build a three-car garage and <laughs> he's, he's, he's out of the will and I'm going, it's going direct to the grandson. <laughs> Now, it has a, a bit of fame in terms of a recreation of a, a particular historic event. That is absolutely right. It was up in uh, Brisbane about five years ago for the 75th reenactment of the arrival of General Douglas MacArthur, uh, who was running, of course, uh, World War II and uh, all mm. of our troops and armed forces. And he used a, a Wolseley as his, as his uh, staff car, which is ironic being an American, of course. It really actually sort of underscores that transition period of English rule to American rule and <laughs> all of that sort of stuff. So very ironic to see the general driving or being driven in, in an English car. It would have been an earlier model, but uh, it would be hard to find one here in Australia. That's right. It was a 3825, but in fact, after the war, they started rebuilding the same car. So this car is identical in appearance to the, the 1938 model. And it starts and goes well? It is ridiculous. I can leave it for maybe even a year and it will start first time. It is incredible. I love how it's got the oil can under the bonnet. Indeed, it also has a grease gun, so you can, in theory, take it anywhere you want and survive, although I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> and you produced a book on it? Yes, it was a book uh, produced because uh, all of the girls through the family through the last, well, 50, 60 years have been married in this car, so all the brides have been taken to the church in this car, so it's got a lovely family connection through the generations. Thank you very much. Thank you.